trying to get this to about 10 to 11 PSI for a starting point. Direct acting. I swear every one of these in this place is different. Most are reverse acting. This one's first direct acting I've seen that has heaters on it. <laughs> so as it loses pressure, it brings the heat on. <laughs> it closes the damper. Direct acting pneumatic thermostat. So their pressure, uh, first couple PSI closes the pressure switches, which turns off the heater contactors. And then uh, the upper scale is what's going to bring open the damper here. So I'm still trying to get this to between 10 and 11 PSI for the high point. That's what it says to calibrate it on these before you hook the uh, differential pressure from the magnet helix back in there. Pump this back up just a little bit. This is to have that. Ooh, almost too far. This is have that about 8 psi for the test. On the thermostat input on here, getting closer. See the actuator is almost fully open now. If it isn't already, I'm too far from the. Uh, I have a little airspeed smart probe shoved in the vent, which is a couple rooms away from me. So it's too far for the Bluetooth. Bluetooth's pretty weak nowadays because they don't want it frying our brains. <laughs> but when I got this the tablet in a pretty good spot. I can read the pressures from the thermostat to the actuator and uh, my flow coming out of vent all at one central point is pretty awesome. Doing this this way using the smart probes just adapt it over to poly tube. Sweet. Okay, I just need to get this between 10 and 11 and then that should be set. So now I got the uh, high and low tube back on. Green is low, red is high. See, this is backing off now. Got the thermostat input port pretty much in the neutral zone. About 7 psi and the heater is off. Let's see, turn this just a pinch. I mean, this thing's real touchy once you hit that sweet spot. Watch, it's going to drop. There it goes. Of course, the proper way to do it is to T into your magna helix inputs your pressure differential look at it look on a chart oops i'm leaking out on this thing I'll pump it up you've got it seven psi hook that up and then you look up a chart a curve for cfm for the size of the vv but i'm just golden screwdriving it because this place is so foobard see uh, thermostat pressure actuator pressure and a probe that's in the vent, feet per minute, and uh, temperature. It should be going up because I just put it on heat. I'm trying to set the minimum air for heat. Calibrating this bastard. Uh, thermostat pressure, actuator pressure, temperature, speed of the air coming out the vent. That's my temperature right there where the thermostat is. What a tedious little bastard. Got some kick-ass airflow now. Yeah. Oh, man, the airflow. Bearings on that thing are hauling ass.